All right, well, coming out to the Lexus here, that's definitely new. It's kind of getting my GoPro stuff together, my other stuff. See, I start taking my Nissan apart. But I've uh, got the Lexus here. Got her all clean on the outside. The inside still need to clean. I didn't have time. Got the base for the car seat. And uh, it's a really nice car. Just needs some brake work and some ABS work. And well, that's pretty much it. I mean, oh, the AC is, doesn't work. It's hot. Probably just needs a recharge. But. Got this thing for a thousand bucks, technically like nine hundred and ninety-five, six, seven ish, because there was almost five dollars and change in the center console. So this is a GS four hundred. So this does have the four liter V eight. It's got a gnarly exhaust leak from like up in here by the cats or the around the cats, so it ticks, makes a ticking sound when you accelerate. But when you're just very lightly on the gas, it doesn't do like the ticking noise. So you can hear how good this car can sound. It sounds really good when it's when they're done right. This one, not so much, because like I said, oh, there's a ding there. But I mean, for like just just under a thousand bucks, clean title in hand, and I think it's gonna be a good flip for sure. But we're taking this up north today, past Brainerd, to go visit my grandma with my mom. She's having a super, super serious eight-hour surgery today. I think it's on her heart. I don't really know. But they're thinking <clears throat> she might not make it through. Or the surgery's tomorrow. But we're going to visit her today so she can meet my daughter. And, uh, yeah, I'm taking you guys with. We're going to see how a $1,000 Lexus does on essentially a 200-mile road trip. I'm a little nervous. I just got it yesterday, late last e in the evening yesterday. So haven't even had it for 24 hours. I'm really hoping it's reliable because if it's not, we're screwed, man. <laughs> And I'm gonna have to go buy something else, but no, I think I think it'll be good. It's these have a bulletproof motor. Um, I checked the oil, tranny fluid, coolant, everything's good. So we should be good to go. So wait till you guys see the key for this thing. This is the key. It's insane. But it works, so I'm just gonna get my backpack loaded up here. What do you mean, like this car? These seats are so plush and so comfortable. It's a really good-looking car, though. Yeah, there's a Maxima. Started tearing it apart. So I gotta pull the water pump and timing chain off. But um, they left me with half a tank too. But yeah, I mean it's pretty nice. The only thing is, well, actually no, it's not because I thought it had no cup holders, but it does. I found the centerpiece in the in the dash. There's a lot of storage space. Got heated seats. It's got snow mode, sport mode. With an exhaust, I'm gonna get this exhaust leak fixed here next week. Um, it's gonna sound super good. And it's got 238,000 miles, but it's a bulletproof motor just like the 3800, so I trust it. It's got a really nice leather steering wheel. They had an ugly steering wheel cover on it. I ripped it off today. All those lights are on because of the uh, um, the brake master cylinder needs to be replaced. It's bad, so I unplugged it. All those lights were on anyways, but I unplugged it. Cause, so it did make this annoying chime letting you know your brakes suck. My brake pedal is super firm for the first time. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. It's because I got paint on the rotors. <laughs> I painted the wheels last night and I did not cover the rotors up. So that's got to burn off. All right, well, the car drove great minus the annoying exhaust leak, which feels like it gives it a lot less power. But exhaust leak and everything else drove great. So letting it cool off AC does not work we got it charged doesn't work so deal with that later it's fine if the windows open just sucks because with the baby in the car you can't have the windows all the way open because you know too loud so that was hot but otherwise windows down is fine without a baby in there so we're taking the focus farther up north and my mom's taking this because you know she doesn't mind it all right so we're on our way home 
just back, went back through Brainerd here. We're sitting at a gas station. Um, things treating us really good. I'm starting to I'm starting to rely on it. Like, think it's reliable, which is good. It takes me a little bit with cars to trust them, I guess. But it's driving great. Um, minus the brake issue, but it's not that big of a deal. You get used to it. All the lights on right there are all because of the brake master cylinder that all go away. And then I just have the power light on because of my switch. See that goes away. Um, cruise control goes away. Uh, my wiper fluid's low, and then check engine light is because of the the brake thing too. So all those lights are on because of one issue. But I mean, it's treating me good. Doing good back there. Just feeding the baby. Super comfortable seats. Like look, this thing is so plush. Seats are super plush. Steering is nice to hold on to. It's nice and just needs a just needs AC. That's the only sucky part. But needs AC. The brake issue, and then this low beam is out. But that's why the brights are on. So, but it's actually really nice. It's super comfortable, practical. It's a V8, but yet it got. I'm guessing it got around 26, 27 miles per gallon because it was on just under half when we left St. Cloud. We went all the way to McGregor, filled up. Well, we filled up just before McGregor, like probably 25 minutes before McGregor. And on the way back, we're, we've only used about a quarter tank. So it's pretty good for like almost two hours. That's like two hours of driving. So it's pretty good on gas for an old V8. Across 239,000 miles. And uh, yeah, I just I need to get this exhaust leak fixed, the brakes, and um, the headlight and the AC. The AC is on the, is the last on the list though because I mean I like driving windows down, but with the baby in the car we can't because it just gets too loud. We can only have them down about this far. Then it gets hot. Next day, um, we're gonna wrap up this video by talking about how the Lexus did on its basically six hour road trip. Oh, fuck. The allergies are so bad. Oh, fuck. Honestly, guys, I'm really surprised at how this thing did. It actually did really, really good. This thing's gonna sound wicked once I get the exhaust leak fixed. It's gonna sound awesome because I'm gonna straight pipe it. I'll probably keep like, uh, I'll keep the cats on, but I'll take off like the resonator and the muffler. It's gonna sound super good. They barely stopped this thing. All right, off to run a few errands and pay a couple bills. And uh, probably get a quote to fix the exhaust. So, just leaving exhaust pros. I got an appointment at one, actually noon. My bad. To get um, the exhaust leak is just around the. Uh, it's right by the cats. It's the uh, like the uh, crap. The like meshy looking metal. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> So he's gonna fix that and rip both the mufflers off for me. He said these things usually sound pretty good with just muffler delete. I was like, how about rip the resonators off too? He was like, they're pretty loud then. I'm like, all right, just rip the mufflers off. Doing it for like 50 bucks, which I think is pretty good deal because it's got a decent leak by the like by the cats. He's got to repair them. He's actually putting one used cat on and then repairing one. This thing's gonna sound a whole lot better. All right, guys, I'm super excited right now. It's time to get the exhaust done. And, um, yeah. So, because of a couple of issues I found with this car, <laughs> which aren't big at all, but I had the guy, I mean, that I bought it from, he dropped me off 100 bucks. This thing sounds absolutely awesome. Listen to this. So we cut off the, uh, there was two flanges kind of by the cats that were leaking really bad. Cut those out, welded stainless steel pipe in, 
So it still has both the cats, has two stainless steel resonators, which it already had apparently. And then we cut both the mufflers out and put some exhaust tips. So I'll show you guys when we get home. It sounds really good. It, I'm surprised. <laughs> I told him I was flipping the car. He's like, that just added $500. Yep. Oh, it sounds really good. And it might be coming back here when I sell this to buy that black Jetta sitting next to that Trans Am, that Firebird. That black diesel Jetta right there. Oh, this thing sounds sweet. Oh my God. Let's hear this thing. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh my God, it drives better too. That's crazy. It was a pretty gnarly leak. God, it drives so much better. That's crazy. The exhaust leak was really, really bad, but yeah, this thing drives good now. Catch up with you guys when I get home. We're gonna go get an exhaust clip here. Gonna go away from the house because the baby's sleeping. Don't want to wake her up. And then I uh, gotta run a couple errands. I actually just tried this pop. Just thought I'd share this with you guys. It's it looks like beer, the can, but it's Fresca uh, flavored soda. It's super, super good. Got my little snack here because I'm starving. I've been having a problem where I've been eating like half a thing a day lately. I've just been forgetting to eat and it's not good. I've been feeling super weak. So I gotta remember to eat. I need my glasses. But. While they had it up on the lift, they actually um, re-screwed in the splash guard for me. And then... Yeah, we got the exhaust. It's so mellow and tame, but then when you get on it, it actually sounds pretty good. Um, yeah. God dang. <laughs> so I got these yesterday. These were 21 bucks at uh, the auto store. Gonna do the spark plugs. I think that's why it feels so slow at certain spots. It literally feels like it's bogging. Um, so I'm gonna throw these in, 21 bucks. I also gotta wash it today really good. Um, touch up the wheels, cause they're not done the best. Uh, completely detail the inside of it because I still haven't gotten to clean it yet from when I got it, so it's super dirty. Yeah, the biggest thing is get those spark plugs in, clean it, and uh, we're gonna get get a sound clip of a new exhaust. So. All right, so I got intake box off there. Just left this part of the box on. It's not in the way. This is kind of really annoying to do. <laughs> Just because you gotta get this out, then you gotta get, take out the coil packs. What? Can you put it on the hook? Gotta so take off the, I just cracked the bolt. There's a bolt right there for each coil pack. And then the spark plug holes right underneath that. You just put your spark plug socket in, you know, take it out, put your new one in. It's just annoying with this freaking Lexus because you gotta get the intake off first. And then this side, don't, you don't really have to remove anything. So I had, as you can see, I, I got these all these. I had all the coil packs out. So in this, this spark plug hole, well, for one, I have to go to the auto store quick, put this back together, go to the auto store and get a um, an extension to actually reach it. I thought I had one, but I don't. Um, these these holes look fine. This hole has standing oil in it by the spark plug, which is not good. So I guarantee the reason it feels like it's misfiring is the spark plugs. So I gotta put the intake back on. Well, I gotta bolt down the coil packs, put the intake back on, and then, so here's my bolts for the coil packs. Put these back on, just put them snug tight intake on just whatever good nice and tight and then there's a little bit of oil in the throttle body or cold oil it's like so i'm gonna get some throttle body cleaner and the extension and uh clean up some stuff under here oh man that sucks 
Good thing it's a flip car. I mean, it runs great. It's just, it's an older car, I guess. All right, I'm back. Quick trip here, just letting the car cool down from the, with the fan. It's not, it's not crazy hot. It's definitely hot. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start moving the intake. It'll give more area to cool off. And I'll uh, show you guys what I got. I got the spark plugs over there. I moved the Maxima a little bit. So we washing this thing in the driveway today. And then I'm gonna also clean this thing out once we do the spark plugs. But I think, so I think I know why, or know what's going on with the, uh, why it bogs and stuff when you try to accelerate. Cause it feels fast when it's cold. I think I know the problem. My Monte Carlo had the same problem. So once in a while the oil pressure light will, will uh, come on just for a second and then go away. Pretty sure the oil um, filter's plugged. So I think it just needs an oil change and the spark plugs and I think she'll be good to go. I think she'll be probably a $2,500 car. So then I'll stand to make a pretty good profit if that's the case. But so we got some throttle body and air intake cleaner for that. Um, I'm gonna clean the mass airflow sensor. And I'm gonna clean the uh, throttle body. Got some red engine enamel paint. Actually, I got this because it was cheaper than regular red paint just to use on a couple small rust spots on the car, just to touch it up. It's a pretty close match to the Lexus paint code. Um, but the main thing we had to go get was these 3 8 inch drive extension bars. So that's what I needed. I did not need half. I did not need fourth. I needed 3 8 So, and I got myself a little treat, some nice gloves to work. Cause I love when I'm doing brakes and stuff. Sometimes I just use my bare hands. If it's, uh, if it's hot out, I'll use my regular hands, but if it's, you know 70s and under i'll go ahead and use these and i've had i've had these forever i got these when i worked at discount tire and uh, these things they don't look old but they're soaked in oil and slippery now still use them but i got me a new set i don't think it's the exact brand oh it is nice just camel same size xo really excited to use those i'm going to use these a little bit more first but these i'll, I'll use these for like brakes and stuff then i'll use these for more like might even use these for like detailing so I don't get my hands on stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and rip the intake apart. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, get back to it. So I just pulled this one, this third hole right here. The third one on each side is caked in oil. The other ones have a little bit of oil on them, but not bad. But this one came out black. I mean, that's insane. That's not good. I'm guessing it needs a valve cover, gasket. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but yeah. So next up is gonna be the oil change. I gotta put spark plugs back in it now. I got them all out. They're all caked in oil basically, but I still have to get the back one on each side out. It's kind of tricky because on this side, the battery is in the way, my long magnet. Now on this side, the brake, uh, master cylinder and the booster are in the way so oh well all right here's my mess um, so here's seven plugs and one of them dropped down there but as you can see like three of them weren't too bad but the other ones were like really caked in oil so it definitely needs a new valve cover gasket but I mean and that, I'm guessing that's why it was causing it to misfire and I think it still is because of the oil filter um, but I need to put a new filter in and then I think she'll be good to go. I think the only reason it might still misfire or at least soon is because obviously the valve cover gasket's still bad. So there's still going to be oil seeping into there and oh well. But uh, yeah, but it started up smooth, ran smooth. So give you guys that exhaust clip I've been meaning to give you guys. So get a start up over here from the back
flipping smooth to drive and it sounds so good now that I got the exhaust fixed. I'm trying to warn that car in front of me. There, there they go. The lights weren't on. There's my neighbor. But yeah, this thing is so freaking smooth. And it idles so good after the spark plugs. It's definitely different. You know, I think the last issue I got is the low oil pressure light that comes on once in a while next to the engine light. I'm pretty sure that's just the clogged oil filter. It was the same thing on my Monte Carlo, but it was the same thing on one other car I just flipped that, I, and I, I forgot which car, but yeah. You can tell this thing is pretty fun, but with this clogged oil filter, it definitely bogs down, and that's one of the signs of a clogged oil filter. All right, so just pulled up to Walmart. If you guys didn't know, you can get oil filters at Walmart, and it's all the name brands you'd get anywhere else. But check out, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's a sweet, sweet M5. Lexus three hour three and a half hours north to most likely trade it for a Mustang and 650 bucks cash so um, the Mustang has less miles it is a v6 but it is a manual it is lowered it's got a nice brand new clutch and it's got a lot of work done to it so I see up here what I need to grab and uh, take all my stuff out of the Lexus that I actually I can just transfer it to the Mustang I'll kind of show you guys it really quick the Mustang is another flip obviously but I'm getting cash on top so overall it's about a $21 $2,200 Mustang um, and this is about a $2,200 car I think the Mustang looks really good It's a manual, it's got ice cold AC. This does not have AC, so I mean, I'm getting the Mustang and I'm getting 650 cash. All right guys, I'm literally pulled over here. I don't know what to do. So this is my drive and uh, to trade it for the Mustang and 650 cash. But this girl is, cons is insistent that she's gonna be here in an hour from Alexandria to pay 2000 She barely speaks English, so that... I'm not racist at all, but like... I'm a little concerned because she doesn't speak English. <laughs> Sounds terrible. Um, she doesn't speak English and she says we can talk through, the, through a translator app. That just concerns me. I should just leave and go get the Mustang in cash. All right, <laughs> this girl was literally begging me. She's gonna give me two hundred dollars more than I'm asking. Um, if she can come right now and buy it, uh, so I guess I won't be trading it for the Mustang and the cash. I'm gonna just gonna get about twenty two hundred bucks. I had lowered my price to two thousand, but she said she'll do twenty two hundred. That's a good deal. I mean, I paid nine ninety five for this car um, like four days ago ish, something like that. 
Um, all I put into it was brakes and then two gas fill-ups of like 40 bucks, 35, 40 bucks. So it's a pretty good profit for a few days. Just doing this part time. Things sound so good. So pulled over here at Foley, uh, Murphy Chevy and Foley. Let's do a little walk around, aren't oh, I am kind of relieved I don't have to do that drive, to be honest. I was thinking about it the whole 15 minutes to Foley. I'm like, man, I should just take the cash. The only problem with that is that I don't have a car to go get a car. If you know, like, what I'm talking about. It's so my Maxima's down, but this thing is so clean. Listen to that rumble. Stopped by their budget lot here to see if they had anything good. This is where I got the Monte Carlo SS. But, all right, I guess she's gonna come and pick this up. All right, so I just decided to run and play against sports while I wait for this girl. And I came out with a bat and a glove. If you guys know anything about baseball, I got a Pro Limited for $34. It's like a $400 glove. And I got a Nike. Uh, it's not a BB core bat, so it's not legally used in college, but it's super, super fun to hit batting practice with. Super nice bat, end heavy, so it kind of mimics a BB core. That thing was only 20 bucks, and it's not dead. You can kind of tell. I mean, if you've played baseball your whole life, you can kind of tell if a bat's dead by kind of bouncing it and kind of bouncing a ball off it. I'm super stoked. I've always wanted one of those Nike bats, and I could never find one. They have a white one in there too, but that one's $109 because it's a BB core. But that Pro Limited is so nice, and they have a lefty Pro Limited first baseman's mitt in good shape for 30 bucks. But I'm not lefty. But my buddy is. I'm thinking I might buy it, and uh, might come back and buy it and um, give it to him. But uh, or see if he wants to buy it off me. You know, either way. 